As promised, special rules episode. Part two. If you were watching the first episode, you you, you knew we were going to have this, and, and here we are. So we're talking rules uh, for really, I guess we'll talk every format, but let's hit the Monday. Let's go in order. I was going to say, let's go in order. Yeah. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, it's all fours and sixes, and it's all on a full-size court. So sixes size court. On Monday nights, A and double B fours. You cannot open hand receive. You cannot set the ball over. You cannot open hand tip the ball over. So more like doubles rules than sixes rules. Exactly. Yeah, basically it is doubles. It is. Yeah. 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 And then, just the difference is is big court versus short court. Yeah. Okay. And then on on Tuesday and Wednesday for B sixes and C sixes, that's just straight up sixes rules. Just like indoors, indoor. you can tip. You can you know do whatever you can. Yep. Just like you're playing over. indoor. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah, on Thursday, here's where it gets interesting. So on Thursday, for A level, uh, co-ed doubles, we're playing rev co doubles. It was a hit last year, uh, and a lot of people like that, so we brought that back. Now, and we and we put it out to a vote, and it was overwhelmingly I for rev co. Yeah, I was surprised. That's that's really cool, and and I think rev co is amazing. We try to run it a lot more for our tournaments. It lets everyone do things that they're good at. I so think ninety percent of the votes were for rev co. Yeah, which was that's awesome. nuts. But we have so many ladies that are so good. And most of the time, they have to hit on a men's set, and seeing them then get to hit on a women's set is awesome. Yeah. They're, they're incredible. I think it's a block, too. So, um, four sixes, or four doubles at six o'clock yeah. on Thursday for right. Revco. We're going to have that 10 foot line painted. Guys cannot attack in front of that 10 foot line. The only way they can put the ball over if they're in front of the 10 foot line ball is if the part ball. of the ball is below the top of the net. So, net. Ball must be below. yeah one millimeter of this ball. Now it's tough, right, to judge this even if you're refereeing, and we don't have referees for league. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna that's a judgment call. You're gonna call your own stuff. When in doubt, replay the point. point. Yep. Okay, if it's super close, just replay the point. But you know we're not taking. Hopefully people aren't taking advantage and going up there like this because that that's not in the spirit of right. the game. That's against the rules. Um, that's no. That's one, the once again, like we rule. like we talked about for fours. No open hand receive. Yeah. Let um, serves are good. Let serves are good. Right. Cannot set the ball over. Correct. Um, now on attack. Let's talk antennas because I forgot to talk antennas yesterday. Okay. The antennas we don't have them. The right. antenna 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 antennas antenna. antennae, They are the po the posts. The posts. And so you're you can go super wide. Um, it it is Anything what it is. Anything between the posts is good. We do, and I don't know that we've ever really said this before, but we should, and we're gonna do it live TV. You can't go on to another court. Yeah, no percent. No so percent. if you so if you make a play and you put the ball back onto your court and you're running off and you step even after you've already played the point, you step on someone else's court. No good. Um, that's a safety rule that yeah. you see really everywhere, and it's, it's a good rule. So we're gonna. It's go ahead safety and start for right now. that player and for the players on the other courts as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I agree. With that. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. And if you're making up a game and there's no one else around, maybe you can decide that you're not gonna worry about that. But yeah. on, on the Thursday nights at six, that's what we're gonna do. Back to, sorry, for, yeah, no, we're, okay. we're, we're going no notes. This on is this. off the dome. So, um, on the open hand receive, if on attacks, mm -hmm. so say someone attacks and you open hand receive it, that has to be a hard driven ball. So hard driven is defined as not having time to think about it. You don't it. have time to do anything else. Um, so if there's any kind of art to that ball, that's not hard driven. So your hands either have to be together, take it with your platform, Fists, just not yeah. open hand. So when we say open hand, we don't. We say open hand, but really what we mean is that you can't use your fingers. The rule specifically, we're gonna get a little bit volley nerdy here for a second. The rule specifically says you cannot have finger action. Make any joke that you want to make right here, <laughs> but you cannot use finger action unless the ball is hard driven. Um, and so that means that your hands don't actually need to be touching. That's a common misconception, but the contact has to be simultaneous. So, so not like a fingers. set. Yeah, exactly. So now, now if you have your hands like this and the ball hits your hands at different times, that's not a double because you didn't use finger action. Okay? So this would be allowed. Yeah. Even if the ball's not hard driven. Beautiful. That's the rule. Um, and then for B, it's going to be doubles. It's going to be just doubles rules, but no yeah. rep. Correct. So it's kind of standard. Yeah. Yep. Still doubles rules, no tips. Uh, still no open hand receive. Take it with your platform or once again, no finger action. Um, Games are to 25, win by two, have we, two have sets. we missed anything else? Yeah, you play two no matter what, you don't play a third, do it for fun if you want, but... If there's any questions, 
put them in the comments. We'll we'll, yeah. we'll check on those. Um, or or shout to one of us or Nate, um, and we can answer those questions for you. The one other thing I think we could probably hit here, since we're only five minutes in, is uh, timing of the game. So. Let's try to get started on time. Try to get there early and warm up if you can. That's obviously not possible for everyone. Um, but also, if you can't make it, let the other team know as yes. soon as you can. And I'd like to, just as the VP here, I'd like to encourage you to find a sub if you can, especially if you're missing a bunch of games. I think a lot of people really like to play on the night where they're signed up to play. And so, if at all possible, make an effort to have that game happen. But obviously, if you're missing a ton, you want to play some games you're not gonna get a sub for every game. We understand that. And, and to kind of go back to those rules for, especially doubles is, is really where we see this a lot. Um, so the rule is the team that cancels. So say Jack and I are playing against each other this coming Thursday and I'm gonna be out of town and I tell Jack, hey, I'm gonna be out of town. I'm not gonna be able to play. And he says, okay. Then when I try to reschedule with Jack, if the times that I give him to reschedule, he's unavailable to. He can take those wins. Yeah. For but us. who would? Because right, I, we would much rather play. Ball. We yeah. would much rather play the ball. But yeah. that is the way that that, that we ride it. Yeah. Um, so it, yeah, if someone cancels on you. Now, if both teams are not able to play at yeah. on that Thursday. Just figure it that's, out. Just figure it out. Right. And if that works out, we'll just split the games yeah. um, at the end of the year. Um, we have had to do that before. Yeah, so yeah, it happens, and we do. Pro and everyone makes the playoffs, so that means like there's no real benefit to taking advantage of that situation. We right. all just want to play volleyball. If you need a sub, you know, post go and post on the Facebook group. There are people that yep. would be willing to sub. So for sure, seven uh, minutes. I think that's I think that's it. Um, what we didn't go over at the beginning of this, and we need to go over our two sponsors again. Oh, um, yep. So uh, thank, shout out to first of all Jeff Osborne. Um, once again, if you, if you have a house that you need uh, to sell or if you are in the market to buy a house, say um, you're getting ready to get out of your apartment or whatever you want to do, um, you're looking for a house, or if you're looking to get rid of your house and get into a new house, uh, give Jeff a shout and he will be more than willing to help you out. Um, he's very connected in the area, um, very good at what he does. Um, and then second of all, Crystal's Healing Hand Massages, or Crystal's Healing Hands. Um, so she does massages. She has, uh, does actual sports-specific like massages. Spot. Yeah. Um, and Nate was telling me about her the other day, and he said that she is like an angel with with healing his his injuries. And Nate um, does have some injuries. Yeah. yeah that's so he, he was talking about, about his. Who might have talked, but. He was talking about his shoulder and how she just has been working on his shoulder and has fixed it. So yeah. um, he's really excited to get back out uh, this summer. And uh, so shout out to her, uh, $20 off your first 60 minute massage if you mention RVBA. Um, Which and, please do. Yeah, you know, 100%, yeah, support. Show, show them that, that they're getting their money's worth. Yeah. So definitely support those two. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Once again, if you have any questions at all, on the, especially on the rules, I know that things can get um, iffy at times, um, whether it's night of or whenever, uh, grab one of us. We can more than willing to help with that. Also, Daniel Smith will be around. He's our doubles coordinator. Uh, so if you have any questions, make sure to ask him. One of us, Nate, will be around. So uh, so definitely grab us. Make sure you're watching out for, for these tourneys, for the swag. Yeah. There's going to be some good swag coming up. Um, so make sure you're watching out for that and ready to uh, to collect them all, as one would say. Volley, volley. Volley, volley. See